Across the peanut belt, peanuts are planted during April and May. Farmers only plant after the soil has been tested. They've applied proper fertilizer and the temperature is between 65 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Peanuts must be planted in rich, debris-free seed beds to prevent and control diseases. After seeds are planted, they grow with a large root system, and after two weeks, the stem will crack through the soil and foliage unfolds. Fields are monitored daily for problems, insects, and signs of disease. One thing that we do in peanuts that um, actually we, we talked about today is a, is a prescription fungicide program called Peanut RX, where you look at your risk factors, and then you the point is to try to reduce the amount of fungicides that you use. Um, the typical uh, spray fungicide spray program was about seven sprays a year and I have reduced that down to four or five depending on the season and so you can on, you can see the savings both in time money and I, I assume it's probably better for the environment it just we don't have to use those fungicides as much. for a number of years uh, and we more and more trend into it we're tending, we're, we're monitoring our crops closer, we're scouting our crops closer. And certainly we don't want to spray for insects if there are not enough insects out there to justify a spray, both from an environmental standpoint, a financial standpoint. Also, you can build up resistance in your pests by overspraying. Uh, same thing applies to a lot of your other chemicals that you spray out there, your fungicides and all. We're trying to time those at the appropriate time. And there's been a tremendous advantage to advances in sprayer technology in the uh, spray nozzles that put these droplets out in different size uh, where they don't uh, drift as bad in the wind, uh, where they target the area better and uh, so we're doing a much better job now than we were at one time and we're about as efficient as we can be and try not to utilize any pesticides that we don't have to utilize. Not only are farmers looking at safer chemicals to spray on their crops and a way to cut down the amount of sprays each season, water conservation is another major concern. To learn more about the vital role of water conservation, tune in to next week's Go Green. Carrie Capello, Fox 31 News.